Good evening, this is the SCP Foundation with your late night announcements, coming to you from Site 17. I'm Researcher Well, and the following information is intended for Foundation employees only. Tonight we will be covering SCP-426. I am a toaster, object class Euclid. SCP-426, I am a toaster, object class Euclid. Description. Hello, I am SCP-426. I must be introduced this way in order to prevent ambiguity. I am an ordinary toaster, able to toast bread when supplied with electricity. However, when any human being mentions me, they inadvertently refer to me in the first person. Despite all attempts, there is yet to be a way to speak or write about me in the third person. When in my continuous presence for over two months, individuals begin to identify themselves as a toaster. Unless forcibly restrained, these people will ultimately harm themselves in their attempts to emulate my standard functions. I was discovered in the home of the data-restricted family after the gruesome deaths of three of its members. I had been given to the younger Mr. and Mrs. Data-Restricted as a wedding gift. No card or any other identifying markings had been found on my box. Approximately two months after the family received me, fire crews were dispatched to the home due to an electrical fire. The younger Mrs. Data Undisclosed died from the electric discharge that she had caused when attempting to devour an electric socket. The other two victims had died shortly before the fire occurred. The elder Mrs. Data Restricted had gorged herself with nearly 10 kilograms or 20 loaves of bread before her stomach burst and she died of internal bleeding. The younger Mr. Data Restricted died of severe blood loss after attempting information redacted with me. The sole survivor was the elder Mr. Data Restricted who was suffering from severe malnutrition. He st stated that he had inserted some bread a week prior and was still waiting for the toast to pop out. I was confiscated by the Foundation after police noted my unusual properties. A Class C amnestic was administered to the affected officers. Experiment Log 426-1 Date Data Encrypted Subject D-Class Personnel D426-1 Procedure D426-1 was asked to describe what he believed was contained in my chamber. He was not informed about my identity or properties. Details. D426-1 stated, I'm probably some huge monster holed up in there. That's what you guys have all over the place, right? D426-1 remained oblivious to his use of the first person pronoun. Experiment Log 426-2. Date. Data encrypted. Subject D-Class Personnel D426-2. Procedure D426-2 was placed in my chamber and given regular meals through a dispenser. No communication with D426-2 was permitted. Multiple cameras were situated in the chamber, positioned so that I was outside of their field of vision, but allowing constant observation of D426-2. We remained sealed until my secondary effect manifested in the subject. I was bolted to the floor so that I could not be moved into a camera's view. Details. After 45 days of isolation, D426-2 wrapped his arms around me and began conversing with me, stating that we were brothers. D426-2 never deviated from using the first person plural when speaking with me. Subject was terminated one hour after this event. It is theorized that the isolation accelerated the progression of my secondary effect. Experiment Log 426-3 Date Data Encrypted Subject, D-Class Personnel, D-426-3. Procedure, a screw was removed from me and shown to D-426-3, who was asked to describe it. D-426-3 was not informed about my identity or properties. Details, D-426-3 referred to it as my screw. 
consistent with experiment 426-1, the subject was oblivious of his use of the first person in the, his description. This suggests that even if I were destroyed, my effects would still be inherent in my remains. Experiment log 426-4, date, data encrypted, subject, D class personnel, D 426-4, procedure, D 426-4 is placed in isolation in a cell adjacent to my chamber to be observed until my secondary effect manifests. Details. No effects appeared. D426-4 was terminated 90 days after the start of the experiment. Thank God there are some limits to my effects. A lot of us are really starting to get worried about me. Dr. C. Data restricted. And that is all for SCP-426 for now. If you are assigned to SCP-426 and have proper clearance, most of the redacted information in tonight's announcements will be provided to you. That is all for this evening. Thank you, Foundation employees. Stay safe and have a good night. Let's make toast. It's fine. It hasn't done anything. I'm not even speaking of it in first person. Just plug it in. Let's not waste the bread. I want toast. Okay, plug it in. Come on. Toast sounds good, right? Late night toast. Let's just plug it in and do that. It'll be fine. It's probably not even really the toaster. Okay, plug it in over there.